Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an iPhone 12. As you can see, the middle right has a cracked screen here. And we'll be replacing with the full assembly of the replacement screen. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I like to do is to power off the phone. Get yourself a Pentalope P2 and there are two screws right next to the charging port. Go ahead and remove the two screws. Once you have removed the two screws, the next step is to get yourself a metal prying tool. What I like to do is kind of stick in between the glass and the base of the phone. The iPhone 12 is quite deep, just so you know. So I'm kind of work my way around it. Some people use the uh, adhesive to warm it up. If you have the adhesive gun, you should do that. I'm making this video because majority of you guys might not have the adhesive gun um, sorry the uh, the heat gun all right so you kind of need to get quite deep and of course be very careful with that broken glass okay so that's about how how deep you need to get in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the adhesive all around the corner of the phone. Because the phone is cracked on the glass, so when you put a little pressure on the other end, the glass will just start to crack. Now be very careful when you um, when you pry it open because you do not want those broken glass to fly into your eyes. So make sure you have the uh, safety goggle at all times. Okay, I'm still working my way around the phone. If you have the heat gun, it's a lot easier when you warm it up, but if you do not have a heat gun, it is still doable. So I try to do something that not many people would have it at home, um, or the hair dryer that is fine as well. So once you have cut all around the corner of the phone, where the adhesive is being glued on. Once you've cut the adhesive, then you can flip the phone to your left. Uh, that's how you open up that phone. Now get yourself a tri screwdriver or the Y screwdriver, okay? So it's a little Y shape or we call the tri shape. Remove the two screws. Remove the bracket. At this point here, you get the plastic prying tool. Go ahead and disconnect this connector right here. Okay. 
that is your battery we just disconnect that okay go ahead and disconnect two of that cable as well the top and the bottom while you're still holding this one we need to save the front speaker and transfer to the new phone a uh, new screen so go ahead and get the tri screwdriver here remove four screws Once you have done the process, you then can remove. I know it's a little bit tricky on this part because there's a little latch here holding down to the corner. You need to kind of push it down and slide it. Once you have done that process, get a plastic prying tool and then remove that. Now, once you have done all of that, the next step is to get the uh, ear speaker transfer over to the new screen still using the Y screwdriver or the tri screwdriver here the top left and the bottom left remove the two screws here and here once you have done that process get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to remove that Phillips right here Okay, now once I've done that process, I'm going to gently remove this part right here and then transfer it over to the new screen. So take your time, do not break the flex cable. They're really tiny, fragile. And they're just somewhat taped onto the plastic. So all you have to do is just remove it. So that is from that sticky part. There you go. And here's the new screen. All you have to do is to transfer them back together. Okay, once you've done the process, just have to screw back together so I'm be using the Phillips screw here on the top right using the Y screwdriver Tighten up the screw at the bottom left. Here goes the top left. It's very tiny. Take your time. Okay, so now the next process 
is to install the flex cable back to the connector and they're just like Lego once you align them in a position you can just simply by pressing it down uh, do not force do not press it hard just have enough pressure always about aligning that connector like a Lego set make sure you have them in a position and then you can easily press it down without forcing it all right so two of them are in here goes the battery I like to slide this thing in first like so I'm still holding that get myself the tri screwdriver you have four screws that is holding down the bracket on the top so take your time And then here comes the final bracket that go going going down to this um, cable right here. So kind of leave it up like such. Get the screw. Alright, once you have all the uh, screws and everything back together, what I like to do is to make sure you align the top first. So kind of somewhat slide it in. Okay, make sure it's sitting flush all the way in. Press it down. Crunch it on both sides. Press it down. And that should do it. Alright, it should be sitting all flush. Now try to power up the phone. Apple is coming back up. Do not forget the two screws here at the very bottom. This is the Pentalope P2. All right. So you can see the phone is working. The touch is working just fine. The screen is just fine. Okay. All right, everything works. Okay, I hope this video is helpful for you. If you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and uh, click the like button for me I really appreciate you for liking the video and if you're not sure where to buy or where to find the um, the tools and the replacement screen uh, make sure you check the description down below I'll list it down where you can 
uh, get it through eBay or um, Amazon and you know that the face ID is working because the camera is flashing to trying to identify that face. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.